Hello YouTubers, I'm back with a new video and in this one I'll be talking about QEMU and snapshots. What snapshots help us to do is to get rid of any unwanted changes quickly and easily and they help us to preserve images, hard drive images in the condition we want them to be in. So, one easy way to create a snapshot in QEMU is to simply find your hard drive image and appended with snap shot okay we save that and then we just start our virtual machine okay and now that we are in our virtual machine we'll create a new file we'll call that file now i'm here and now we turn off the virtual machine Okay, and we'll start it back up. Okay, so now we are back in our virtual machine and we see that the file is gone. So with this method, whatever changes we make, they do disappear after the VM is shut down. Let's shut this one down now and let's try a different method. Okay, let's try a different method of creating snapshots now. Let's get rid of this option right here. And uh, let's create a new snapshot image. So qemu-img create-f qcow, that's the type of image we'll be using, dash b, we'll use uh, this image as the base, so vm dot img, and uh, we have to specify the snapshot image, oh, I think it's vm1.img, okay, uh, vm1.img, and the snapshot image will be our snap.img. Okay, we created that. And now we have to tell the machine to boot from the snapshot image instead of the original. So we'll go H, do HDA. Our did I choose our snap dot ing? Okay, so now uh, let's save that and let's boot into the virtual machine. Okay, now we are booting into our virtual machine and let's create a new file let's call it now um, here okay and let's turn it off and now let's turn it back on and let's see whether the image is still there okay and uh, now we are back in our virtual machine and uh, because i have the graphics card here the image is on the actual monitor but i'll just drag it here so yes it is still here and uh, now we'll reset the virtual machine or well turn it off okay and what we can do now, we will uh, get rid of the snapshot. And we'll boot from the original hard drive. Okay. And now when we boot into the original image, we can see that the file is no longer here. So, with snapshots, we can uh, easily and quickly revert back 
to where we started and get rid of any unwanted changes. In the next video, I'll be going finally over Looking Glass. So I'll see you in the next video.